there isn't actually a single solar battery hybrid on Australia's grid, but we've got about 20 of them under construction and contract. Yeah, it, I mean, I, I did a piece of work recently with, um, when I say I did a piece of work, gee, I'm really sort of overstating my involvement here. I had the team from uh, from Oricon do a, a whole bunch of work uh, for me. So, so Paul Gleeson and his team from, from Oricon, um, we gave them a, a pretty simple task and they go away and, and get the, you know, in, I mean, they do an enormous amount of due diligence for, for, for projects. I think in their, in their broader book, they might have done 60,000 megawatts of, of, of projects, you know, between Australia and New Zealand. We just asked them, could you anonymize the, the you know, or, or, or collate all your data from all of those projects over the last five or seven years, each year, if every year, uh, so that we can track roughly what the costs of these technologies are doing, wind, solar, batteries, and can you help us understand which parts are moving and, and, and which, where, where the opportunities are going forward? And it was an extraordinary set of insights we got from it. We just, and we just asked, can we have the meeting for each of those four technologies? And, and as you would all, exp- uh, uh, as everyone, I think, on, on your podcast will know, you know, batteries have come plunging down in, in costs. It's been an extraordinary sort of reduction over, uh, over the, the last handful of years.